In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some brand new tips, tricks, and hidden features on the Galaxy S25 FE. Stay tuned. Alright everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day, hopefully everyone is safe out there. We have the brand new Galaxy S25 FE in the house right here, and in this video I just wanted to share with you guys a few tips and tricks I've figured out how to use on my brand new S25 FE, and I thought I would share these guys with you so you guys can go ahead and use them for yourself. These are really, really cool ones. Some of these may be something that you already know, but a lot of these are probably going to be very new to the majority of people out there. So the first one is actually going to be in modes and routines and it's something that I saw the other day I thought it was the coolest thing but you're gonna go into the modes and routine section then we're gonna go ahead and click on routines and once we're in routines we're gonna go ahead and click add so basically uh, modes and routines are here to help your daily functions and your your daily life out uh, help make things a little bit easier for you so uh, basically you add a trigger for the routine and add what the routine will actually do once it is performed so if you do this it will do something else if you are driving it does something else if you have it on dark mode it does something blah 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 but for the sake of this video we're going to go ahead and go to unlock phone so as you guys can see we have unlock with fingerprints so click on that and you're going to choose the fingerprint that you use to unlock your phone i just have one right here so if i use the fingerprint and we're going to scroll all the way down until we see effects and then we're going to click on edge lighting and we have a bunch of different edge lighting to choose from. We have basic, we have glitter, we have echo. We're going to go ahead and select glitter right here. We're going to click done. We're going to go ahead and save and click done. So if we unlock our phone, we're going to get an edge lighting effect. Look how cool that is. So if you guys want to go ahead and set up a mode and routine for unlocking your device like that, go ahead and check that out. I thought that was something cool just to customize the look and feel of your phone every time you unlock your phone, you're greeted with a little glitter effect or a little pulsating effect or something like that. Really, really cool feature right there. Our next tip is going to have to do with the generative AI and we're going to go into the gallery application right here uh, to go ahead and check out this new generative AI feature right here. As you guys can see, we have these like sparkles at the bottom middle. Um, on your S25 FE when you're on a photo right there. If we go ahead and click this, this is going to be utilizing the generative AI. And the cool thing about this is this is a lot better than what Apple has, a lot better than what Google has uh, for the majority of the artificial intelligence that they use. And in my experience, this has been really good and I'll show you why right now. So if we go ahead and circle our object right here, say we wanna go ahead and erase it. We wanna use that object eraser. It's going to snap around the bounds right here. And we're gonna go ahead and click erase. So it's erased. And then we're gonna go ahead and click generate. Look what happens when we generate this. So as you guys can see, I mean, they don't look like the, the nicest fingers in the world, of course but it actually generates fingers to the rest of the hand right there. I do not know any other phone um, that has that decent of artificial intelligence when it comes to the object eraser. So that's, that's really, really awesome. Also kind of scary, uh, but that looks really, really good. So that's something that you guys can use, um, especially if you want to just erase something small in the background and not something this big or dramatic. That's one of the things that you're going to be able to do uh, with your generative AI when it comes to the object eraser. The other thing I wanted to show you is essentially the same thing. So we're going to go ahead and click on the generative AI right there. We're going to go ahead and tilt this so you guys can see the full photo right here. Uh, so you guys can actually sketch an image on here. And um, let's go ahead and make a balloon real quick. We made a little bit of a balloon and click generate. So if you guys want to add an object to a photo and you guys want to make the photo look a little bit better, you guys can go ahead and do this. Look at that right there. That is insane. So let's show original and let's go back right here. So it shows us a little hot air balloon. Um, really, really cool right there. Let's go ahead and discard that. Let's go ahead and try something a little bit different. Let's go to generative AI. Um, say we want to, I don't know, draw a heart in the background. And then click generate. 
look how cool that is. So you can just add photos. Um, you can add realistic photos. You can add, this looks to be like clip art or something like that. Uh, but such a fun thing to go ahead and do just to add things to your photos like that. Look at that before and after right there. Beautiful stuff, um, a lot better artificial intelligence than many other companies out there. So Samsung has some great stuff uh, when it comes to that generative AI tool. And I'm sure a lot of you are gonna use this more and more now that you've seen this. All right, everyone, so the next tip is going to show you how to stop battery degeneration. As you guys know, uh, when you cycle through your battery or when you charge your battery to 100% um, and it, it just stays on the charger, that actually um, degenerates your battery. So it, it, it kills um, your battery life and it degenerates your battery even quicker. So what we're gonna wanna go ahead and do to go ahead and stop that, um, especially if you have your phone on the charger 24 seven, if you have it on there at night, is we're going to go into settings. We're gonna go into the battery section right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and click on battery protection. So as you guys can see, before you turn this on, we have a couple different options. So as you guys can see, it says keeping your battery at a full 100% charge for a long time can reduce its lifespan. So choose an option below to protect your battery and make it last longer. We have a couple different options. The first one's going to be basic. So when your battery is charged to 100%, charging will stop until the battery level drops down to 95% and then charging will start again. So that this is not killing your battery life or the longevity of your battery later on. I mean, say you want to sell your S25 FE or any Samsung phone in the future for that matter. Um, if you guys turn this on, this is going to save the longevity of your battery. It's going to save the life of your battery. Uh, if you turn it on maximum, uh, you guys can actually choose all the way down to 80% and for maximum it says charging will stop at a level you set. The lower the level, the more you can extend the battery's lifespan. And of course, we have our adaptive protection right here as well. So if you stop charging at 80% while you're asleep and finish charging to 100% just before you wake up. So those are some really, really good options to go ahead and check out if you do not want to kill the battery um, in your phone or uh, degenerate it. Great option for people out there trying to uh, secure the best possible battery in their Samsung phone. Our next feature is a very basic feature. A lot of people don't know they have it out there and it's been out for a long time now, but if you're going from the Galaxy S20 FE or even a lower phone like the Galaxy A56 or A36 or A35 for that matter, um, we have something called reverse wireless charging on here. And basically when that is turned on, you can actually charge a separate device with this phone. So if we wanna charge another phone, like an iPhone or a Samsung that's compatible with wireless charging, you can actually charge that phone with just this phone. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's very, very basic. Also on your S25 FE, it's kinda of hidden as well, which is honestly a shame. They should, they should show this to everybody and they should have it out loud and proud on the drop-down bar menu. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and click edit right here with the little pencil. And we're gonna go ahead and edit applications right here and it's going to show you your available buttons right here so if we scroll to the right a couple times we're going to see something called wireless power sharing so we're going to go ahead and hold on that and we are going to of course add this here indefinitely because this is something that you're going to use multiple times once you know how to use it and as you guys can see wireless power sharing is right there so we're going to go ahead and turn that on Basically, it's going to say, put the center of your phone back to the back with your other device. Um, if you have trouble connecting or charging slow, uh, remove any cover from each device. So if you have a uh, phone cover or a case or some other accessory or attachment on the back of your phone, remove that so you can properly charge um, whatever device you're trying to charge. So we can use, of course, phones and other accessories. So we're gonna go ahead and drop some Samsung Buds on the back of this phone. And as you guys can see, voila, we are now charging those earbuds. So this is definitely gonna be useful for people out there, whether you're traveling, you're at a theme park, you have a last ditch effort to give your friend or your family member some extra battery life. This is definitely something that's going to be a lifesaver in the future. All right, everyone, so our next tip is going to be AI search. Uh, what we're gonna do is go into settings, and of course, we're gonna go into search right here. Now. As you guys can see, you can go ahead and type in a little prompt and you can be as specific as you want and uh, it's gonna go ahead and pull something up for you here. So it basically uses artificial intelligence to find what you are looking for in the little prompt that you give it uh, instead of having to be super specific about something. So if you want refresh, 
speed to be faster. Let's go ahead and click faster. Go ahead and search. It's going to take you to motion smoothness, as you guys can see right there. And then it's going to show you motion smoothness, and you're going to go ahead and click adaptive. Or if you want it on standard, you click standard. So now you can give your setting searches to find something that you want a little bit more of a specific prompt instead of having to type in exactly uh, what that setting or what that toggle is actually called. So that's gonna be super useful to a lot of people out there that aren't nerds. Next feature is gonna be a basic one. This has been a part of Samsung Suite for a while now, and that's of course going to be circle to search. Um, if you have the swipe gestures, of course you're going to hold on the bar. If you have the buttons like me and you're old school, you're gonna hold on the circle in the middle. And of course, you're gonna get all these colors that pop up right here. Um, and what you're gonna do is circle something that you essentially see on your screen. So say we wanna go ahead and search up that guy right there, Donkey Kong. We're gonna go ahead and circle him. And we're gonna learn more about what we're actually seeing. So if you see a product in a video, or you see you know, something like a candle, or a phone, or a bottle of wine, uh, this is going to search the entire internet through Google to find what you are looking at so you can learn more about it. Or maybe you'll be able to find a product um, that you were looking for inside of a video as well. So whenever you wanna use that, whether you're watching a video, reading an article, playing a video game, you can use that anytime. And that is going to let you search up what you are currently seeing on your phone screen. Next tip is going to be an oldie but a goodie and that's going to be in settings and it's going to be called side button. So we're gonna go ahead and type in side button right here. You're gonna go ahead and click on the side button. And then we have, of course, right here, we have either double press or we have long press. Our first run right here is double press. And if you go ahead and double tap that power button, of course, it's going to be set automatically to camera. However, you can set that to flashlight. Let's go ahead and double tap, double tap to turn on and off your flashlight. You can double tap to use a magnifier, open your notes, use modes and routines, or you can use it to actually open up a separate application. So if you're someone who plays Call of Duty Mobile all the time, you guys can double tap that button to open up that. Or if you're a mathlete and you're always doing math for whatever reason, you can double tap this and it's gonna open up your calculator. Or of course you're an architect or something like that. This is gonna be a very useful thing to a bunch of different tradesmen and people out there either in the workplace um, or at school. Or if you're just an average person as well that likes Call of Duty Mobile. This is definitely something that's going to be nice for you to use. We also have the long press option right here. So if you long press this, this is going to, by default, going to bring up your Gemini Assistant. Um, if you want Bixby, you can go ahead and bring up Bixby. Uh, but for me, I am old school when it comes to Android phones and I miss being able to hold this, just the power button alone to bring up the power options like restart and power off. Um, so yeah, this is definitely something that you can change that uh, to do as well. So yeah, power off menu is something for me uh, that I would use instead of pressing like up and power or down and power and always getting confused. That's something I would set it to. Our next tip is going to be in settings and this is going to be off by default for whatever reason. Uh, and that is going to be called Dolby Atmos or Dolby Atmosphere. We're gonna go ahead and click on that. And as you guys can see by default, this is going to be turned off. And especially for the people that use earbuds all the time, you will want this on. So if you go ahead and turn this on, uh, you kind of will get this surround sound experience. It's going to give you a better experience when watching movies, TV shows, uh, viewing social media. And of course, you can go ahead and set up an individual section for this as well. So if you watch a lot of movies, and you click on this, it basically delivers the best possible audio for films, shows, and videos. And of course, music, it says make all your music sound richer, fuller, and more balanced. And of course, voice, this makes your voices loud and clear. So that's definitely something to look into if you guys wanna go ahead and get a better viewing and listening experience with movies, TV shows, video games, and social media. This is definitely going to be something to check out. We also have an equalizer out there for the people who know about decibels and uh, know about sound in general. I'm not gonna get into all this, but you can customize these settings as well. Last little tip I wanna go ahead and show you. This is a fun one. Uh, and this is for the people that constantly change their wallpaper 
wallpaper like I do. I always change my wallpaper. I always feel like I should refresh my phone a little bit more for whatever reason um, and in whatever season as well. I'm rhyming out here. Uh, if you go ahead and hold on the screen right here, we have our wallpaper and style. We're going to go out and click on that. And we're gonna go out and click on change wallpaper. If we scroll down, we have something called create with AI. We're gonna go out and click on that. And as you guys can see, we have a couple little things right here. We have generative and we have photo ambient. We're gonna go out and click on generative. And this is a very, very cool feature right here. So you're gonna go ahead and create something new. You're gonna create yourself a wallpaper. We like imaginary, so let's go ahead and click on imaginary. And it's gonna give you a little prompt. It says a surreal lamp made of flowers in shades of pink and purple. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and change three of these keywords and it's going to let you pick something. So how about this? A surreal castle made of felt and shades of green and teal. So we're going to go out and generate this and it's going to give us a custom wallpaper that has never been seen before. Look at that though. Kind of creepy, kind of unsettling, but also kind of cool at the same time. And if you guys want to go out and generate this over and over again, it's going to give you a new wallpaper every single time. So let's say we go ahead and like that one. Let's go ahead and click next. Let's go ahead and click done. Look at that, a wallpaper that nobody on earth other than you has. Pretty cool stuff right there. Go ahead and check it out if you haven't already. If you feel like these tips and tricks helped you out, of course, drop your boy a like, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. This has been Safan from Sackrite. Peace out, Sack Gang.